witnessing before the great men of the earth, September 2nd. The time is not far off when the people of God will be called upon to give their testimony before rulers of the earth. Not one in 20 has a realization of the rapidness in terms of how soon Christ would return. Uh, we must understand that the times that we're living in right now does not afford us uh, uh, to be caught up with vanity or trifling behaviors. Uh, we should ensure uh, that we do not engage the mind with unimportant matters or matters that are not salvific. The Bible tells us in the book of Matthew chapter 10 and verse 18, And ye shall be brought before governors and kings for my sake, for a testimony against them and uh, the Gentiles. As we consider the word testimony, we understand in this context that it means a witness. Uh, we believe that there would be many who would stand in the judgment, uh, not uh, uh, going to heaven, uh, but finding themselves in everlasting destruction. Uh, but even as they stand there, uh, the word of God will come back to them and God will open their eyes to see several instances where the witness through his word and through his people stood before them. The Bible says we will be witnesses, we will be testimonies as we stand on God's behalf. Uh, you might be wondering what you would say as your testimony. What you would declare as your testimony is thus, uh, say the word. The word of God will give guidance. The word of God will give utterance. I want you to know, to know today uh, that we need to trust in the power of God's word. Why not let us ask God for a personal uh, testimony? Uh, Father in heaven, we pray that you will be with us. Grant us a personal testimony from your word. Help us to stand always for truth. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Remember. The power of God's word every day will keep the enemy at bay.